My bad. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, Robin. <laughs> it's me. I've got a huge thing on my face. <laughs> wow. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why are we running? <laughs> thank you thank you I, I, I try my best <laughs> okay so today I was thinking since I had so much fun just just being a, a miscreant in the sims that I had to do it again and the goal today is in fact to devour sugar from from Mortimer and get one of these sims either Conrad Anders anybody who looks like they've got a big house yeah we're taking it I want it and, and that's the goal for today <laughs> yeah uh, so yeah that's a great start <laughs> and we'll get right into the gameplay so I've been raising the kids a little bit on my own, on my own screenplay for a moment. Um, on my, what screenplay? On my own time. <laughs> Friend of the year, that's how I do. That's how I roll. I'm sorry if you, you're not into the sugar abuse. As you can see, I was playing on my own. Unfortunately, I did lose the little boy. I don't know how he got out of the house. I tried my best to attract him back so I could adopt him, but it just didn't work out. So, <laughs> so he ran away and that's, that's all that happened. On the upside, I did get m Sue. <laughs> I lost the little boy. <laughs> I lost the little boy that I was supposed to um, kidnap. I had kidnapped a little boy in my last game. I lost my child hostage. Yes, Robin, that's an accurate way to describe it. I don't know how, because all the doors were locked. He shouldn't have been able to leave, but he did. Well, it looks like I'm building up skills and the child is playing. Okay? <laughs> how is this game hot? <laughs> it's just what I do. It's how I play. Uh, ro what we really need to do is we need to focus on sugar. So we got to get sugar divorced from Mortimer. For some reason, since they got married, despite the fact that they were not getting along whatsoever <laughs> before the marriage, they are getting along spectacularly now. And I don't know if it's because they don't live together or what. <laughs> but that's, th th this is what generally what we need to do. Um, so I am making the money right now, and in fact, it is not enough because I did have 70,000 and the, the bills to this mansion that I upgraded are just like, it's like 12,000 each time. I just don't have enough money to continuously pour into it. So sugar stealing people's husbands and wives is in fact a necessary thing to that it's necessary i need it to happen i also want to um <laughs> i also want to like make gem an adult at some point but my goal right now is to actually get her to level five whiz kid <laughs> exhibit a of sugar of you <laughs> so she um finished her last goal which was to to do the whole artistic thing so I'm like, I want my kid to be perfect by the time that they grow up. I'm going to be that kind of parent, okay? Like, <laughs> crippling, <laughs> crippling expectations. That's who I am. <laughs> okay, so it does look like we entered in on, I don't think we have a TV. Like, I'm pretty sure we don't. So maybe we'll just get a TV or no, no, maybe not. We could dance, though. <laughs> I, it looks like for some reason, somebody took my laptop. <laughs> somebody just stole my whole computer. <laughs> what? The 
little boy took it on his way out. He ran. <laughs> the little boy just made a run for it with my hold. <laughs> he took his revenge. He was not about to sit by without... <laughs> <laughs> he was going to get some form of compensation for the fact that he was well taken care of and didn't have to go to school while he was here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to see if we can kidnap him again. He saw the latest game PC and took it. <laughs> most likely. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get the, the most expensive one that we can afford at the moment because why not we're filthy rich even though <laughs> even though we're not really that filthy rich it's gonna it's gonna be fine it's gonna work out you're gonna see <laughs> it's good <laughs> also uh i would just like to say that we have uh made a masterpiece uh sugar made a masterpiece painting while you guys all were away and uh, here it is. I've never seen anything more perfect. And uh, I, I support them 100%. <laughs> so let's focus our gameplay on Sugar now that he's awake and he's slept, I think, sufficiently. Um, it does look like he's hungry. He needs to take a shower. Go take a shower. Uh, <laughs> Sugar, be the master artist. Shh. <laughs> and uh what is the child doing outside that's i don't know okay what is this what is that what is that who what is that did somebody just break stuff and like what is this collect it what is it excuse me put away the ham dinner F figure out what this is <laughs> okay there were no answers to that. The, I was, the question was not resolved in the slightest. Um, yeah, I don't got an answer. I, it's not in her inventory. I don't know what it is. Okay, we're just going to ignore it. And Kenichi Watami, you might want to be wondering. Oh, you might be wondering why a top secret agency like ourselves would reach out with a bet big of repu with as big of a reputation as you have why that's the whole point people regard you so well who wouldn't expect that you're a secret agent if you're up for it <laughs> oh my god i could be a secret agent <laughs> mm, i don't know if i can though see i don't think i have the skills for that but at the same time listen while you guys were away something happened i don't know what happened but i think i got like um a lot of money from doing some type of investment during the business career and it gave me just like the best reputation and so as a result everybody's been offering me jobs but <laughs> but now see the money that i'm getting from those jobs is supporting our home and our mansion okay <laughs> But if I become a secret agent, what I want to do, I do want to be a secret agent. <laughs> I know I'm going to take a pay cut. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure it's worth it. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> we're going to do it. <laughs> okay, we're quitting it. We're going to be the lead detective. <laughs> We're gonna be amazing. Okay. Villain backstory <laughs> Yes! Okay, so we need to do a bunch of friendly interactions. Nobody's gonna know that we're a se top secret spy. We're gonna ask uh, Sugar about our day because it looks like for some reason, what is happening? Jobless, oh, I'm upset. I'm not jobless, okay? <laughs> I'm glad that you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Oh, and by the way, while we were gone, it's official. Uh, Sugar and I are best friends at this point, so that's sweet. Closer memories from happiness and all that. So we're good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> You're going to be a top secret spy. When does the first day of work start? It, okay. So we do have 
both the logic and the charisma skill leveled out. So if that's the only requirement for this particular job, then I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> Friendship. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, now we just got to make sure that sugar eats so that sugar is nice and good. And then we can call in Mortimer and get a, get divorced. And we're going to just get divorced. Are you going to eat or not? Like, <laughs> Who left this here? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay. I don't know who wanted to make brownies, but Sue is going to finish it. And it looks like we are fine and we're dandy and we're going to call over Mortimer. Let's just call him up. Where is he? Where, where do we want to? <gasps> what if we ask him on a date and then it goes really well and then we ask for a divorce <laughs> from Dexter? <laughs> doing it we're gonna go ahead and do it <laughs> i don't need permission this is what's happening hey buddy got a minute with me so i heard you have a recycler and if you let me use it i'll give you all the bits i get for free how does that <laughs> way to break the heart <laughs> that's what we're gonna do that's the life that we want to live we want to live that way uh, let's see do we want to let's go to the nightclub it's not night it's not night time uh, maybe not let's see what we have around here um maybe we could go to strangerville i actually haven't played through the 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 game in strangerville except for once on my own time and the the game got completely deleted but <laughs> the life you want sugar to live you <laughs> strangerville yes basically in essence 100 <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and have amazing date hopefully it hopefully we're gonna have an amazing date so he's gonna have <laughs> he's gonna have a great memory of this whole day oh that's a cute little day outfit i've never actually seen sugar dressed up before for some reason <laughs> well he looks spiffy <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and there's the chef we're gonna request our table the last time i came here in my own gameplay this freaking i don't know <laughs> <laughs> the last time I came here and my own gameplay, we requested a table, we ordered our food, and some sim came up and just like took our food. She took our food. We paid money for it. It was like 80 simoleons. <laughs> it was not an inexpensive meal. <laughs> We're gonna have a good date. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a great date. This is a very pretty person. What is happening? This is a nice dress. Is it a pretty person or a pretty dress? Both, I think. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and I think they're gonna sit us at our t <laughs> eight. 80 out of 54,000, definitely something. I, w I mean, just because you're, like, well off doesn't necessarily mean that you're ready to spend $80 for a meal somebody takes. Like, if I'm paying for something, I expect to at least get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't feel like I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> We're going to go ahead. We're going to sit down. I thought Mortimer was just making an option, like making a choice to sit away from us because this isn't g doing well. Okay, so we're doing good. We're on a hot lunch date. He's happy. Why are you getting up? <laughs> Why are you getting up? <laughs> okay, socialize with the date. We're just going to have a funny little, let's just embrace, I guess. Uh, let's sit down, please. Sit down. Sit <laughs> okay we're gonna hug and then we're gonna sit okay we're gonna order for the table what are we gonna eat uh -oh. we gotta have a great day so this ends <laughs> yandere sue is rising slowly <laughs> but surely <laughs> what if we're like an extremely cheap day like even though we're <laughs> no no we're gonna get the monte vista reserve renoir renault 
what, however you say that. And then we're going to get um, savory bacon love petals. <laughs> yeah, let's get them savory bacon love petals up in here. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a good idea and a good concept. And then we're going to over, we're just going to stuff our freaking um, space taco. That's a space taco. Okay. But I'm feeling like maybe, uh, maybe Mortimer would like that. And then we're going to have the volcano pasta because that just seems fun. And then for dessert, we're going to finish it off with, do we want to finish it off with blocks or chocolate caviar? Is that egg? Like, that's fish eggs, right? This is what the chef recommends, though. I guess we'll get it for them both. I mean, I guess. It's a $108 meal. Well, this better be the best damn experience of our lives. If somebody comes and takes our meal, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> okay. So we're making our order. Give crafted gift. Yeah, let's give him one of the many uh, candles we made. We made candles while you guys were away, by the way. <laughs> so that's going to happen. We're going to have a deep conversation with our date. We're going to just woo him, you know, make him feel really loved. And then we're going to break his heart because fuck Mortimer. He made me work too damn hard. <laughs> Okay, I still haven't forgiven him, and it doesn't even look like we're very good friends. It doesn't. We're gonna just, <laughs> even though I have this much money, I ain't ready to pay for any dollars. <laughs> Welcome, hi, hi, Pocky, how are you? <laughs> nice to see y'all. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be friendly with our date. We're gonna just, I don't know. Ask about his day. How are you? Before we break his heart. <laughs> is it a black screen or is it just like a black screen? It's, let me know if it's a black screen for you guys. Because I don't personally think it is for me. Let me check. No, it looks like it's working fine for me. Hi, Jinx. Nice to meet you. Nice to see y'all. We are doing... Yeah, it looks like it's working fine for me. <laughs> But this isn't the first time you've complained about this, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, refresh. Okay. Hi, K-Dice. Nice to see y'all. Okay, it fixed itself. Awesome. Let's ask about his favorite color. What we're doing today is we're putting sugar out on a date. We're going to make him have, like, the best time with his date. Who is also his husband, by the way. Like, they're married. They were married last year. We stole his riches. We stole his house. We totally... <laughs> took everything from him we made him the love of our lives and now we're gonna divorce him but after a very good date that's what's going to happen we're gonna divorce him just like after an extremely awesome date he has no idea what's coming we're just <laughs> we're just not about this right <laughs> the scenario where you're in love and you're happy and, and you go together so well. <laughs> Sue is jacked up on sugar or something. Maybe I am. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and build that social. No, we're gonna build the violin skill and you're gonna tidy up the home because that's what we need right now. Um, <laughs> but <clears throat> I'm just imagining the scenario where you're happy, you just got married, and then they're just like, they take you out on this amazing date, and they're just like, can we just be friends after you're married? <laughs> and that's the essence of what's going to happen here. But I actually don't know how we're going to get this divorce, because truth be told, I've never had to have my characters divorce before. So let me see if there's even an option in here. <laughs> 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 
say goodbye, get to know, flatter, fish for compliments, more choices, hug, New Year's, praise vampire lifestyle, telling AJ the worst he can say is no, goes on a happy date and just picks up instantly. That's what we want to do. That's what we want to do. Okay, so we have to socialize over the mill. So we're gonna bring out cake? We're gonna bring out cake. Okay, <laughs> just bring him out a bring out a cake, and the cake's like we're getting divorced. It's got sparklers all over it. And <laughs> Hi, Antarctic dog. The strongest choices require the strongest wills. We're gonna get the the most expensive one. No, I didn't even get the most expensive one. I just realized the blue confetti one was $98. But we're trying to make Mortimer feel good before we break his heart. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so that's that's what we're doing today. We're having a good old time. We're having a great time. We're going to just <sighs> divorce the love of our... Not really the love of our life. Sort of and kind of... Eh, <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck on court. <laughs> Make them pay for the food. It would be so good if we actually could get Mortimer to pay for our food. I would love that if that was possible. Okay. I know that we're supposed to be talking about the meal, but I literally don't know how to do that. We need to go to friendly. Um, hmm. Discuss color theory, and enthuse about the iambic pam, pa, pentameter, and enthuse about fabrication, give repair tips, get to know, show off muscles, hub lovingly, talk about handiness, talk about cooking. There's no option to talk about the meal! <laughs> okay, so food under friendly. Discuss food under friendly. Okay, that's what it says to do. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to end this on a good dish. Discuss gourmet dishes, maybe? Is that what it means? <laughs> but I was faking our relationship. <laughs> also, you're paying. And then you just run out of there before you pay. <laughs> That's perfect. That's a great way to do things. I guess we could blow the horns. We're just gonna have... Oh my god, I forgot it's New Year's. We're breaking up with him on New Year's. <gasps> Well, he's just not going to have a very start to a very good year. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I'm like, why are we getting all these options to do this? This doesn't make sense. <laughs> now it does. <laughs> now it does. <laughs> Break someone's mental health. <laughs> Jacked up on evil. <laughs> Okay, so the date is over. We had a good one. It looks like th he's not upset, at least. It wasn't the best date. It's not like something that you write home to. But... <laughs> we can just divorce him! <laughs> I've never had to divorce someone in this I, I Do it. <laughs> do it. Just... We had an amazing day. Love you, babe. <laughs> Okay, and we're just gonna, <laughs> not the best for him, but the best for you. And now that we are free, and we no longer, <laughs> and there it is, goodbye. We don't love each other anymore. <laughs> Maybe we never did. <laughs> He's really upset, and <laughs> let's see what that did to our whole situation here. Um, <laughs> Okay, it was a bad romance. Let's open the sim profile. Resentful about the divorce. Mortimer's deeply wounded and saddened, and I'm resentful about the divorce. Oh, Sugar's resentful. Has resentment left over from his divorce. Sugar may not be enjoying, uh, may not enjoy being around Mortimer. It's disappointing to see a rift in this one strong relationship. This was never a strong relationship. <laughs> this was n from day one. <laughs> We're just <laughs> happy new year. <laughs> and for him, sad new year. 
tragic new year. Have a good one. <laughs> we ruined his holiday. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you have to go home and then I'm going to kidnap your son too. Like, mm. <laughs> it's not a good day for you. <laughs> Oh, by the way, thank you so much for following, um, Dark Twitch is Garbage and K-Dice. I, uh, I didn't get the notifications a little bit, so thank you so much for following. Um, let's just go ahead and see what else we can do. <laughs> He's gonna go home. <laughs> We're holding up. What are we holding up for? I, I, I've i never had so much fun in a Sims game. After breaking up, you break into his house and you steal his kid. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, did we actually leave without paying the bill? <gasps> well. <laughs> Okay, submit copy to Literal Digest. Submit a bit copy to the liter with a grant of large amount of royalties, which you will receive. Okay, let's go ahead and sell this book right here. And what am I doing? It looks like I'm going to bed. All right, boring. We're going over to Jem. What is Jem doing? Did Jem do their homework today? Oh, it's Saturday. They don't have to do homework. Um. <laughs> okay, so the the real question is now, which, uh, wh who, who's our next victim of, of this tragic love fest? Wh who should we target next, I guess, is the question that I should ask. We should go ahead and make a resolution just to make him happy. Do we want to raise a skill, lose weight, write a book? We're going to write a book since that's literally all that Sugar does. Sugar is an author. Um, <clears throat> so Sugar's going to write that book at some point. That definitely keys him into, um, that keys him into just a good New Year's, even though we got a divorce. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to travel and we're going to travel without anybody. We're going to travel towards one of the, one of the homes that are, who do you feel like we should target? The Anders, the Spencer Kim Lewis family, <laughs> the Conrads. She looks like she's single. She looks like she's good at handling her life, you know? Uh, and she also looks like she's alone, which makes her an easy target <laughs> on how to end relationships for evil people. <laughs> that's one way to do things for sure i'm gonna go ahead i don't know in the last family we broke up a family like we broke up a whole family we didn't is there anybody here let's just do the anders i think let's take directly from the anders <laughs> you know i never see the mom home so i'm not sure if she's a ghost so maybe it's free real estate. We just don't know. <laughs> uh, we got to see. Oh, they have a nice mansion. They have a nice mansion. There's somebody in the backyard. Let's go ahead and we're going to go be a friend. And we're sad about the divorce. We're really heartbroken. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay, because we're already targeting our next victim. And it can only be as fun from here on. Is this a teenager? This is a teenager. So it's not him. We're not taking money from him. Where are we? What are we? Get up. Go say hi. What are you doing? No. <laughs> Go say hi. <laughs> he walked in. Okay, knock on the door, and we're just going to level, you know, view. We're going to do that thing that, you know, thieves do. We're going to just peep around. We're going to peep around, be like, okay, is this home worth stealing from? Yes! Sorry, I should not have been that forward in thinking. I mean, is our home nicer? 
Our home is basically the goth home. The mansion. Um, I can't lie. Let's see. One, two, three beds. So that's enough for everybody here. But we actually have a lot more stuff that we accumulated already. So it's not good. But we're going to definitely steal. We're going to steal. We're going to romance somebody. But who? Okay, so this is the adult Bob Anders. Where's the husband? Where's the father figure? Who are... Is the dad home? Is the dad home? No. Okay. Am I wrong to... Is this the dad right here? Okay. Just give him a friendly introduction. Let's just be high. Hi there. So we're on the prowl. We actually do need the money, especially because we spent so much money that I think we spent on Mortimer when... When we did not need to spend any money on him. <laughs> so, how are y'all doing though? <laughs> I don't know if I said hi or anything. Let me, like, <laughs> are we watching TV? What's happening? <laughs> and thank you guys so much for joining my stream, by the way. I wasn't expecting so many people so suddenly. I, I was, like, a little shocking. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, they were counting to the New Year's. I should have freaking watched the New Year thing. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. But uh, it looks like everything's doing good. You know, let's ask for advice. Maybe if we ask for advice, then it'll make it just, like, a little bit easier on us for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, let's... No, we're not going to do any of that. We, I, we already asked for advice. We're going to complain about our problems because that's how you start a good relationship. You walk in, you say, these are the things that happened to me that were bad. <laughs> and then you let everybody lend you a sympathetic ear. <laughs> and that's how you know it's true love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, and thank you so much for following Antarctico Doggo. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay. I, th I hope I said your name right. Okay. So let's go ahead. And what is happening on this TV right here? You know what this reminds me? Oh, never mind. I was going to say it reflected me of Balto, but it doesn't anymore. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> sub run ruining furniture expect for the one dude he's not watching the new year crack crack crud crud crib why isn't the restream just showing your messages one sec let me see if i can get the messages to run back up real quick and <laughs> Hello, random person. I'm here to win your love. Then I will steal everything and I'll break up with you. <laughs> yes. Yes. So are my evil ways. <laughs> That's what I want to do. That's what we're going to do. And it looks like there's something really romantic happening, but we're actually trying to romance the dad real quick. So come on, go romance the dad. And the teen's like, Ugh, I don't want to see you guys be old and like in love or whatever. Oh, <laughs> we did not have a good interaction. What happened there? Let's sing about New Year's. You know, what's wrong with that? Let's just be cheerful. Let's enjoy this together. Um, let's brighten his day. Let's, uh, <laughs> we can just insult his house. We're not going to do that. We're going to give him a dipped candle. Be like, you know what? It's kind of dark in here. I feel like you could really benefit from a dipped candle. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to go ahead. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and we're going to propose this crazy scheme. This is still the... I'm struggling to decipher the teen from the adult, which I guess is bad. That sounds terrible. But they both look the same, and I don't know how. I literally looked away for a second, and suddenly my brain was like, That's the teenager! You can't flirt with him! <laughs> You're- I'm not planning to burn his house. I may be planning to take his house 
and sell his house, but I'm not planning to, to, to do that. <laughs> Let's get to know him, you know? I feel like he's not a bad guy. I feel like we could actually genuinely get along. And I think that the fact that we both have beer bellies is just like love, you know? He's a music lover. Our daughter plays violin. So, <laughs> so what, what more tells you that, what else could tell you that it's fate? Nobody, nothing else could tell you that it's fate. Let's flatter him. Let's give him the old handy dandy, hey. <laughs> I wanna be your friend, let's be friends. And then we're gonna Ramon some and take his money and take his home. <laughs> we got a sentiment with him. <laughs> Taking the house, then selling the house back to him. That's the way to earn extra cash. <laughs> what did we give him? Did we give him a gift? Okay, we gave him die. <laughs> what a gift. <laughs> I don't know what that means or the symbolism of it. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, did he make us a burger? <gasps> Let's just take his whole burger. Let's just grab all of it. Let's just uh, swipe it. We can steal. We can steal. <laughs> Oh crap, don't steal in front of the son. Don't, I mean the father. <laughs> okay. Now, now that he's behind the door, stealing. <laughs> now that he's gone, steal it. <laughs> Maybe stop eating to steal it. Okay, we did it. We stole it. Nobody paid attention. Nobody saw it happen. We're, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> oh snap. Okay. Let's see. Four, five, uh, why two, is he sad one, again? Zero, <laughs> stealing seven, burgers, stealing hearts, stealing love, stealing everything. Really, that's what we're doing. We're gonna go complain about our problems, and you know, maybe it'll help us to be less sad about the divorce because we really need a friend right now. You know, we out of nowhere just divorced more. <laughs> It's really hard on us. What if he comes back for his money? <laughs> Seems like a normal thing in America. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it kind of does now that you're saying it. <laughs> but <clears throat> it's not normal. Let's see what we have in here. Do they have any, like, foods? They don't. So there's nothing to steal aside from that. What else can we take? What else is there to take? Nothing. Just this poor lonely man's heart after his potential wife died, I guess. I don't know what's going on. Let's ask him for advice. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe we could really, let's see. Sentiments with sugar. Sugar feels close to Bob from good times and happy memories. So his name is Bob. I want to let you guys know that I've actually never met a person named Bob in my life. Not even one. <laughs> I wish I knew a Bob. Have any of you guys met a Bob? Tell me. Let me know. Is your uncle a Bob? <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Bobaroo. Bobarino. <laughs> We're gonna ask him to have like crazy schemes with us. We're gonna steal from America or something like that. <laughs> There's a game where the dragon's name is <laughs> I don't know if that cat, oops, sorry. I hit the mic. <laughs> okay. I don't know if the dragon counts considering, <laughs> unless you know a real person who's a dragon, <laughs> whose name is, <laughs> whose name is Bob. <laughs> In which case, let me know. So he's family oriented. So if we actually try to romance this man, we have no idea if he's going to be cool with that. Let's ask if he's single. Maybe he'll tell us. Maybe he's like actually recently widowed. Because I kind of actually feel bad. Where's Mariah? Where is she? <laughs> you have a very nice house and I don't want to wreck your life. 
But I definitely do at the same time. It's nothing personal. It's just that I want money. And I hope you can understand that. <laughs> this is such an unreasonable uh, claim or wish to make. Okay, mischief speech spirit. Let's let's take part in mischief. Let's uh, uh <laughs> Okay, so he's going to pass out behind the couch for a minute. We should actually take us home and and we've already got our new, you know, we've already got us so we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch the, sh the controls to Sue to me because we're an international spy now. And that's cool. Okay. <laughs> I've never been an international spy before. And it's something that I need to know more about. Do international spies need to work out is the question. Because I'm pretty sure that I don't actually have her on a good ro like workout machine routine. But I think we do have some workout machines up here. So let's get her working out just in case. You know, just in case. Um, just in case stuff happens. As you can see, I did get s sick. <laughs> international breakup and international spy. <laughs> We're running a whole situation here. It's a whole scheme. And we'll take your money. We'll take your home. We'll take your house. We'll take your husband. We'll take your wife. We'll take your kid. <laughs> yeah, you can like uh, video games, baby. That's fine. When's the next <laughs> international st assassin? Okay, can I sit, please? I don't want this sedentary lifestyle to continue for me. So we're not doing that. This is person wants to watch the world burn. Yes. Out here committing war crimes. That's, that's who we want to be. Let's push it to the limits, you know? Let's just quickly push things to the limits. Let's make sure that we get our fitness skill as high up there as we possibly can that way oh i wasn't even i was on level one like i was not even very good at like if fitness i was not good at exercise <laughs> i need i need to do better we need to do better okay so some money came in <laughs> universal crime <laughs> you know good way either way it looks like I'm really upset from being jobless even though I have a job. Like, I don't understand. Like, no. <laughs> We're fine, kids. We're good. Okay, so what is Jem doing? Jem's just chilling out, being her cool self awesome. We're not going to expect anything from her. Someone needs to vacuum. Okay, so if you guys have The Sims, The Sims 4, Please do not get the vacuum kit. I don't care if it's $5, which is exactly why I bought it, because of the appeal, because it was $5. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> it's horrible, and it's really hard to keep up with. And nothing, nobody helps you. If you buy a butler, the butler doesn't help you vacuum. If you're the one who has to vacuum at all times, I'm not happy about it. Job. Be the part-time devil. Exist as the part-time devil. You are only... You're only as big as you make you to be. The butler doesn't help. I'm serious. Yeah. The butler doesn't help. And even if you gift the butler the vacuum, the butler will not do it. If you buy the maid, the, ba the maid will, like, do your dishes, but she won't vacuum. And I'm like, that's, like, the only thing I hired you to do. I don't want a vacuum. I want someone to be seen routinely vacuuming, but I don't want it to be me. <laughs> And I paid five dollars to be forever burdened with this whole vacuuming situation over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why I let me do it. I'm very upset with myself. Okay, go to bed. Just have some sleep, my dude. You're tired as hell. You're falling asleep while you're eating. Just go to bed. Go to bed. Sleep it off. It's gonna be fine. And I'll take care of the vacuuming situation. 
Yes, we need to clean. Clean up everything. Luckily, my sim is a neat sim, which means... Okay, who's this? Who is this? This is a teenager? Diego Lobo. How you do? How you be? This... Who are you? <laughs> it's the police! We're on to you! <laughs> What is happening? Why is he glowing? What is going on? Why is he glowing? Do you guys know why he's glowing? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> um, it looks like we instantly became friends though. So that's cool. Let's brag about owning a dew collector, a solar panel. <laughs> <laughs> let's um <laughs> we could ask for a small loan we could ask for a large loan let's just ask him about his favorite color you know i don't understand what exactly is going on but i do know that she needs to eat and it looks like there's a lot of food out there so we're gonna go ahead and eat his his ate too much banana at the point where it turned radioactive <gasps> banana man <laughs> Banana Man, except he's not Spider-Man, but his powers are to like shoot bananas out of out of his wrists. That sounds painful. Never mind. That sounded like a bad thing to do. <laughs> Please don't pay attention to that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and clean up because it looks like everything's a mess. Clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up. Thank you. <laughs> And we're gonna go ahead and it looks like we never finished making the brownies. So, we're gonna go ahead and finish those brownies and then we're gonna go ahead and eat. And then we're gonna be an international spy doing international cool stuff. And while we do this, Jem is going to invite her buddy, her pal, her friend. Where is her buddy and friend? Hello? <laughs> We're trying to steal children and you don't have children, friends. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> How are we having a terrible relationship with Tango the bear? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next time you go to school, you're going to make friends and we're going to steal them, okay? <laughs> I could have sworn you were good friends with the Mortimer child. <laughs> oh, <you. laughs> Eating dearth is unhealthy. If you do, kids may tease you. Uh, let's just let her know that it's unhealthy. Don't eat dirt, kids. That's a bad thing to do. Uh, dirt is for plants. Uh, unless you are a plant, don't eat dirt. Thank you. <laughs> this has been a PSA. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna eat the ham dinner that seems to have suddenly become good. And then, oh, Oh, no, what's happening over here? Okay, so I'm happy because I'm together with the child that I am helping to raise. I stink! I'm smelly! When did this happen? Or is it the oven? No, it's me! I'm the stinky one. <laughs> okay. And while sugar's away, what can we do but, like, play with Sue? <laughs> She's an international spy, which should make this cool, but it's not. What's happening over here? Let's... Hey, I heard you became good friends with Bob Anders. As you can see, we're still friends with Bella. Ooh, For some Bisu. reason. <laughs> For some reason, we're good friends with Bella. So we're good on that front. Let's go ahead and... <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what else we can do. Um, Sugar's still asleep. Great response. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I should really get going. He was still outside. Okay, weird. We're going to go ahead and clean ourselves because we don't want to be a stinky sim. We don't want to be a stinky sim. Hey. We haven't gathered in quite a while. Perhaps we should all meet. How about we don't? Not to be weird, but let's not do that. <laughs> oh snap, is this broken? Do I have to repair this? Go repair that real quick. 
okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Just be like, oh my god, I heard you were good friends with somebody. Okay, hang up. <laughs> You're just removing blood <laughs> of your crimes. You can't prove it. <laughs> you can prove nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's actually scavenge for the parts here because we actually are the um, handyman of the household. So we do need to be able to have those parts and, and there's nothing better than free parts, right? So <laughs> I don't know how you manage to always get them, but I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to argue with it. <laughs> I don't know how we're still friends with Bella, though. I do think, well, maybe it's because she's divorced. Like, she's just like, <laughs> I can't believe that man divorced me and then you divorced him. Sounds like he got what he deserves. A friend of, <laughs> an enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> Understandable. Have a stay. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so now you've got to go take a shower. It looks like the child put herself to sleep. And is she laughing in her sleep? That doesn't, that's not. Children are the scariest things. Can I say that? Like, I don't know if I could ever be a parent just purely based on the fact that I don't know what I would do if a kid came into my room with their head sort of held down and their hair all up in their face and then just standing in the doorway of this dark room with just the hallway light back behind them. I'm like, it's just, no. <laughs> She's having a fever dream. Like, normal kids do. <laughs> what normal kids? I guess, maybe. <laughs> Is that a it's been, it's been a while since I was a child. <laughs> is, is that new? Is that that's, is that what hip? <laughs> is that what hip, what? Wow! If I can just say the words, please. Is that what's hip with the the kids these days? <laughs> there we go. Got it out. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna. Did he sniff the shower? Okay, so he just goes over, sniffs the shower, and then peeks. Okay, cool. Fine. <laughs> yes, I do like a fever. <laughs> you like to fever dream? <laughs> so what do you guys do? Do you go, uh, go ahead and just post it all over Twitter? This was my fever dream. This is... <laughs> How it went down. <laughs> Your fever dream was, was lame compared to my fever dream. <laughs> Make a TikTok dance <laughs> about it. I'm sorry. I'm done. <laughs> I don't even think that made sense. Okay, so it looks like my lifestyle is at risk. Which is the sedentary lifestyle, which is actually the one that I wanted gone. I don't know how Sue got on that. I think it's because she always had to work, and as a result, she was always sitting. Um, but, either way, bet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So, 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 since I recently moved from a very high ranking job to a very low ranking job, the money is on you, sugar. And that means you're going to make all your sad feelings go into this particular painting and it's going to be a masterpiece and you're going to sell it to a collector and we're going to make money. That's the only way this is going to work out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> Glad we are, we've arrived to an understanding. Okay. <laughs> and uh, soon as the morning comes, we can take a shower, I guess. I always think that it is kind of cool to watch them do their painting, even though we know that it's not realistic. Um, towards, you know, actual painting. But I mean, I mean realness is overrated, whatever. <laughs> 
go back down, sell the painting. That's the entire reason you bought it, to sell it, okay? You made it to sell it. Thank you. Now go take your shower. <laughs> I actually have never had um, sugar in the water before. And so despite the fact that he is a mermaid, he doesn't, like, get to be one. <laughs> so maybe next time we're going to take whoever on a date towards the beach. And then we're going to just do mermaid stuff. One of my goals is to eventually make Sue a magician person, a mage, a magic person. That's what I want to do. Just have her do a bunch of magical stuff. What are we doing? Oh, we have to get up early to go to work. It's 4.30. It's 4.30 in the morning and we're going to work. Okay, cool. That's fine, I guess. Okay, so she's off to work. So that's cool. And it doesn't look like we're... Work is supposed to start in six hours. Why am I going to work? <laughs> you gonna sue a magician? That's what we're planning to do, yeah. <laughs> she just went to work. Oh, okay. I mean, fine. <laughs> I guess. She woke up early just to do that. But that's, I guess, fine. I guess, you know, it's cool. It's good. We actually have to make sure that we resolve our our thing. So let's quickly go down here. And, you know, since I bought this freshly, we can actually probably work on it. And let's write a genre book. And we're going to make it a sad book. <laughs> we're going to make it a sad book. He's going to write his book. It's going to be super sad. It's going to be tragic. Mama doesn't love you anymore. Okay. Stealing hearts can make you sad. <laughs> it's going well. So we did officially di divorce Mortimer. So that happened, which is fun. That's always good, right? Like, <laughs> divorce is just like the best <laughs> for most people. <laughs> Right now, we're making um, Sugar, you know, compulsively write about his feelings because he's having a hard time and we also need to finish our resolution. And his resolution was to write a book. So we're going to go ahead and make him write a book. Steel hearts can make you sad. N never knew divorce cost 150 <laughs> In our case, it didn't. It just cost us our heart. Okay, so stealing hearts can make you sad. This thrilling tale of heartbreak, divorce, and international <laughs> theft will keep you on your toes and the edge of your seat the whole time. <laughs> Keyboard ASMR. <laughs> I hope it was good, keyboard ASMR, I guess. She's more threatened. <laughs> She's more threatening than the event that's going on outside. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> okay, so the child is talking. School starts in a little bit. Are you prepared to go to school, child? Have you gone to have you gotten everything done? Did you do your work? You did do your work. You played with the stuff. <laughs> okay, good. Well, that's good. Keyboard ASMR indeed. Let's go ahead and the child seems fine. What the hell is school? So the child is actually excellent in school. She's one of the top students. Right now, what we need her to do in order to complete the whiz kid satisfaction stuff that we've got going on is to make her finish her homework two times while she's focused, but it's not too hard. All we have to do is make her play chess for a little bit and then she'll do her homework and it's gonna be good. And what's this going on? She's in a food coma. <laughs> She needs to nap a little bit. That's okay. Go to just take a nap. Stop talking to your dad. Just take a nap. Okay, where am I? I'm very tense because I'm at work and I'm suffering from work withdrawals. My character is a workaholic. I don't know how she got that, but I guess I'm not complaining. So we're going to go ahead. 
finish the book looking very menacing there. <laughs> yeah, I kind of do. I look really upset. <laughs> I look very unhappy with the way that things are going. <laughs> That's okay, I think. Okay, so I'm here. I'm back. It looks like as soon as I got home, I felt much better. Okay, so... Shared from a close sentiment towards someone feeling bad. Seeing someone Sue Harris's suffer makes her feel sad. And I'm also suffering from work withdrawals. Okay, Sue Sim looks like she's gonna take over the world. She is. That's the whole reason she's an international spy. <laughs> she's new to the job, but she's willing and ready to perform whenever she whenever it's time, you know? Whenever it's time to go. Okay, so the child has to actually go to school now. Go to school, child. I don't know how we accidentally made you do this. You're starting a world war. An international spy that commits war crimes. <laughs> That's the perfect story, if you ask me. <laughs> Oh, an Antarctic dog. You just have the cutest profile picture. Can I just say? I, I wasn't able to see your profile pic for a second, but now that I can, I'm just like, wow, that's adorable. <laughs> that just sounds like a movie now. <laughs> Maybe it is. Sue's going to be the villain from Kingsman's Golden Circle. <laughs> Maybe I will be. <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> Okay, so the child has gone off to school. She's gonna work hard. No, she's gonna make friends because we need to kidnap chi children. <laughs> Sounds horrible. <laughs> oh, we got that. Ugh, look at this bill. Oh, I knew it was a bad idea. I knew this was a bad idea. <laughs> You're welcome. It's so cute. Okay, so let's see what's going on here and open Sim's profile and closer from memories, techie, stuff like that. Kidnap children? Oh no! <laughs> How I became a supervillain by just breaking people's hearts. <laughs> Wholesome. Kidnap children. It doesn't seem very consistent, does it? Just, we're gonna marry people, divorce people. It's gonna be a lot. Things are gonna happen real quick. You're gonna see. <laughs> Okay, uh, we need you to go ahead and sell your book, please. So we wrote our book, we finished our resolution, we're gonna sell it to a publisher. Um, we're gonna self-publish it, actually. That's what we're gonna do. And it's gonna be amazing. Everybody likes our books, things are gonna be fine, you know? So the bills came, they were excessive. <laughs> but it does look like we didn't Okay, we're a one-star celebrity. Sue is off to work. Okay, what's going on here? Jem spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. She didn't catch anybody, but the other students were running away. She's too young for kissing, or is it just kids being kids? Insert meme. She's too dangerous to be left alive. <laughs> Okay, so is the child in fact too young for kissing? I do assume automatically that a child is eight years old, so I do think they're too young for kissing. Let's not go around kissing people. If you're a teenager, you know, maybe. <laughs> sure, do whatever you want to do. But if you're eight, no, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> okay, okay. Jem's manners is enraged to earn the good manners trait. So we're doing good. We're working hard. I think Jim is Jem is going to jail for harassment. Perhaps, but Jem is only eight years old and you'll have to rip her from my cold, dead arms before she goes. Okay, so, the, so he needs to sleep. And I don't blame him because it has been a rough ride. I'm just going to let him go ahead and sleep in the child's room since I think the bed there actually gives him more sleep quicker and faster. So we're just going to go ahead and let him sleep. And we're going to stare and we're going to have a conversation. So how are y'all doing? Having a good time? Uh, it looks like someone's calling me. Hey, Sue, we'd love you to join Powerhouse. What do you think? 
Is that like a club? Yeah, I'd love to, I guess. Congratulations, Sue was accepted into Powerhouse. Welcome to Powerhouse. I'm happy that you've decided to join our club. So it is a club. Okay, good. Because I still wanted to be an international spy. <laughs> okay. So now we're in Powerhouse. She's actually in a couple of other clubs. It does seem like my character is just really good. Uh, Sue has unlocked the indoorsy lifestyle. I don't know how she did that. She's not even indoors. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> I feel like you're having a monopoly on power right now. Maybe I am, you know? What's to say that that's a bad thing? That's what I want to know. Who's to say having a monopoly on power is a terrible thing inherently? Did I, did I do anything wrong yet? <laughs> <laughs> yet being the keyword. <laughs> Technically, the first child I kidnapped got out. So no. <laughs> so check and mate. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and make her do this until she's focused. And then when she's super focused, um, we're gonna actually make her do attempt mental telepathy. <laughs> how you made a child escape. Uh, I don't know how the child escaped. Can I say that? I, I don't know how she escaped. I tried my dang darnest to make sure that that child did not escape, but the child did in fact escape. This child is a protagonist for children's movie. True. <laughs> the child is too powerful. <laughs> Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Indeed. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be able to accomplish that she finished her homework once while she was focused, which is good because we definitely want her to have that done. And while she's still focused, we're just going to go ahead and have her do extra credit. She could, she have busted his knees caps. I really don't genuinely know how the child got out because I left the doors locked. Uh, and then suddenly the child was not in the house anymore. And I don't know what happened. Um, it was around the time frame that I, that I made the butler leave because I had a butler and the butler wasn't cleaning to my expectations. So... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. Okay. I should have busted his knees caps though. I should have, but I felt like it would have been too terrible. You know, like Mortimer had just gotten more married to me and I didn't want to, <laughs> to break his kid's knees. It was his son, by the way, the one that I had kidnapped initially. Okay, so voting is now closed. The water conservative received the most votes for the community and will take effect immediately. Well, thank God that we actually have a um, thingamajigger, a water pipe thingy. Yeah, <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, Sue brought home 423. That is not enough to live on. Okay, so we're feeling scratchy and that doesn't seem good. So we're gonna go ahead and have the child go up and she's gonna drink some medication because we actually got a bunch of medicine because we don't live that lifestyle. Who busted the dang? Okay, here I am. There I am. And I look adorable in that outfit. <laughs> I've heard what a great person you are. Would you be interested in, uh, sure. I guess we're just spending money out the who's it even though we don't have the money to spend we don't have the money to spend but we're doing it because well, I don't know because <laughs> we're a good person I guess we're gonna go ahead and repair this I swear I swear to god that I had actually made it unbreakable I thought that was my gameplay um while I was away I, I actually do a lot of grinding behind the scenes so that you guys don't have to see me just have the characters grind all the time but uh that's what i was doing i was making mm, all the appliances upgraded so that they were unbreakable and stuff like that but dang i guess i missed one <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pop that in the fridge and this one's gonna be clean. And the child is not gonna bother me, no. The child is gonna go back to bed and sleep. That is what the child is going to do. Go to sleep. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna call in Sugar. I can't believe I forgot my own character's name or Sugar's name. That's terrible. I'm bad. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, <clears throat> wow, it's already been an hour. It didn't feel like an hour. You guys really made this fun. So <laughs> it's already been an hour. I can't believe it. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make it so that sugar goes over here and he eats, I guess. He needs to eat and then we're gonna make him <laughs> take a bath. <laughs> and then we're gonna go off and we're gonna make him romance the dad again. It does look like he's feeling better, so that's good. The fact that he's feeling better means that he can romance again and you're just not capable to do that. My cat finally dragged me in. <laughs> Hi, Sugar. It's nice to see you. We've divorced you in the game. Sorry that you weren't there to see it. <laughs> but uh, it's fine, I think. Because now you're going to go. You're going to go out. And you're going to be friendly with that family that we're trying to get you with now. And I actually think you're a better fit for them. Your heart will go on. Okay. Let's go ahead and travel. Let's go ahead and travel. And we're going to travel to Bob Anders because that's our next victim. And he's got a nice freaking house, my dude. He's got a great freaking house. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and we're going to steal that house. I feel a little bad because I do like him and his family. His family seems nice. And we got along swimmingly in comparison to Mortimer. We did not seem to get along well with Mortimer at all. And uh, I think you can tell because the divorce is dicey. But <laughs> either way. <laughs> okay, we're here with Lawrence. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to knock on the door. We're here. Knock, knock. Hi. How are you? I'm here to steal your husband. I wonder if the wife is finally home because she never seems to be home. Let's go ahead and confess a fear of vampires. That's a weird thing to do. Just walk in and be like, Bob, I saw Dracula today. <laughs> Oh, he's feeling uncomfortable. Hey, it's Mariah! Just follow the tip. Swallow all your morale. It's poor man quality. <laughs> Morals are poor man's quality. Let's get to know him. He's uncomfortable. I don't know why he's uncomfortable, but we're going to do our best to make him comfortable, you know. Let's, uh, let's be really friendly with him. Let's, uh... Ask about his career. You know, he's got this nice house. He must do something real nice to get it. Let's give him a, a crafted gift. Let's give him one of those candles that we made earlier. And, uh, yeah, it looks like things are going. Sugar has learned that Bob is a wildlife technician at the Observed Conserve Foundation. So he's the guy who's making it so my rent goes up super high. Is that what I'm to understand? <laughs> Let's give him a heartfelt compliment. I love that you guys make it so that my rent costs $10,000. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's my favorite thing about you guys. Let's compliment his house before we get too uh, salty. Before we turn into a sultan chant. <laughs> And then we're going to talk about our handiness. And our whole goal here is just to make him comfortable. And then also to just, like, be friends. To tell an engaging story. To tell a joke about barnacles. We're not even going to romance him yet. We know that he's not single, but he will be. Soon. <laughs> Actually, sh we've built a lot of work around Bob. But if we could get Moira to be our, our wife, then that's just as cool, isn't it? <gasps> they have a child we can kidnap. And it's a girl. She'd be great friends. <laughs> it's the show. 
joke. <laughs> okay. Let's be a cheerful person. Let's give him a cheerful introduction. Sentiment gain. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. <laughs> it's me breaking up marriages yet again. <laughs> This is really, really just all sorts of. Uh, stop stealing children! No! <laughs> I won't! I'm taking those kids. Those kids are gonna be mine. We're kidnapping them. We're making them the perfect wife and or husband. Alright. For our precious gem when she grows up. Oh, look, our neighbor is just committing crime again. <laughs> Can't argue with that, Steve. <laughs> First, we have to make them orphans in order for this to really work. You know, we got to make sure that they are actually orphans before anything happens. We can tickle him. We're going to tickle him. We're going to tickle him. I don't know why I'm so excited about that, but I am. <laughs> Our little child gets a whole pool of suitors to choose from to show our love. <laughs> yeah, this is flirtatious. <laughs> I feel like he's feeling it too, you know? Like, he's got that soft little pink spot right there, which means that he's kind of into us. <laughs> How to make them an orphan. Make their parents go to war. <laughs> I bet you... I bet you if we start playing the StrangerVille gameplay with them in mind, that we can actually get the, like, plant creature to actually take over. <laughs> Make it high enough that the government drafts for them. Okay. Aw, oh, they're a good family. They hugged without even having to be told to hug. That's so sweet. So let's tell him an outrageous story. It looks like things are good. Let's give him some repair tips. I don't want to piss him off, though. Like, I don't know what it is, but sometimes in The Sims, if you accidentally give them, like, some bits of information, like, hey, I saw that you were struggling with, like, I don't know, the uh, skill for charisma. Here's some of my neat tips and tricks for the charisma skill. Sometimes they get really mad. They're like, that was some unwarranted advice, my bro. And they all talk with a surfer accent when they get angry, so... That's information you should know. <laughs> That's so sweet. You can hear her voice having an opportunity to ruin it. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. <laughs> Is it realistic? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go... <gasps> We can just straight up ask him to join our household. <laughs> I don't know if that would be a good idea. Would we be able to get his money if he did just join us without having to, like, be married to us? I, I also just don't know the situation where, like, somebody is just such a good friend with another person that they leave their wife to be their friend. <laughs> yes, it's going to be another victim. Okay, we're gonna get along with the child now. Let's tell the child a funny story. I also have a child. Bring him to your house, then kick him out. <laughs> Would we be able to get the money from them? <laughs> He's now homeless. Yeah. <laughs> we're so bros. We decided to get bro married. It's not cheating, Jessica. <laughs> That seems genuinely like the what what happened right there like the option to like just sort of I don't know ask him to be in my home was a result of the fact that it's just a re weird result of the fact that like we're so broski it's like we're so best bros my dude and we're gonna go to the restroom Thankfully, they have a similar restroom to the one that we have at home. And so we do know how to use it, I guess. <laughs> okay. So, where did, um, where did the husband go? Where did he go? That's the question. Um, maybe he's in bed with his wife. That sounds possible. <laughs> but he's not. Where is he? 
He's in bed with the sun. Slightly weirder. Can't lie. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Saying our sims too dummy to learn how to use other toilets. I get you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> I, I didn't put him there. You guys just saw he was there. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> this is why we kidnap children as a service to the world. Chato made to prevent this. We've got to save that teenager. We've got to just steal their children. <gasps> we could steal all the kids. We're getting married to him. I've decided it's final. We're getting married. Then we're taking his kid. We're taking his funds. <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> Okay. Steal to save. Honestly, if you think about it, we're doing the world a service. That's what's happening. Um, <laughs> but right now they're both asleep, so we're going to go home. And we're going to think about how we're going to save this child. And maybe, just maybe, we'll document it in the form of a book. Probably. <laughs> One man's harrowing tale as to how they're going to prevent... Alabama done, I guess. Uh, the Alabama Curse is a good name. I might name the book The Alabama Curse. I'm happier about kidnapping every opportunity it comes up. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just be super obvious about it. And if the police don't know that we're kidnapping um, as a result of the fact that we're so obvious, sorry, I don't know why we zoomed out so far. I don't know how, because we're literally gonna be one of those textbook cases where. We we're literally writing about the crime we're about to commit. So we're going to put Sue to bed. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to write our book. This sounds like you're a real kidnapper. No, I just want to watch a lot of true crime. <laughs> okay. So we're going to, we're going to go into the nonfiction section. We're going to go ahead. <laughs> okay. So gem schooling starts in a bit. Don't worry, babe. We're going to get you some brothers. And maybe n there won't be brothers. Lies my teacher told me could be the description. Or the Alabama curse. <laughs> that's, that's a good name. The Alabama curse. Courtesy of K Dice. <laughs> okay. And... Uh, just as an homage to the fact that you're the one who put it, let's put your name on there. Okay. The Alabama Curse. A harrowing tale. <laughs> Why do I always want to go with that? <laughs> A deceptive scheme for marriage. <laughs> May just save a, a household of children. from their, I guess, abusive parents. Read how I did it. Our VTuber winds up with a kidnapper reputation that long exceeds our history playing sins. Seems legit. <laughs> okay, so the book is now in motion. It's nonfiction. <laughs> and it's ready we're just doing this and the police have to know and if they don't know the police just aren't aren't researching hard enough okay <laughs> so that's what we're doing let's go ahead and see what sue needs to do sue looks like she's good she's hungry though but work starts in two hours the child could go to school go to school child Jem, go to bed and when you come back you may have um, some family. So that's cool. So you're gonna go to work. You're gonna, yeah, I mean, school. School, work, same thing. Um, 
and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna study hard it's gonna be fun and then you're gonna stop studying that hard you're gonna go ahead and make friends and by the way sugar while you were away I became an international spy I know we're moving on really fast from the fact that I was just a business like person but um, I feel like this is a good move for us you know I could steal stuff whenever I want to. <laughs> Stealing hearts can make you sad is earning us 224 right now. Uh, aliens don't need sunglasses seems to be the one that is doing the best. But it's fine. It's good. We're good. Things are good. I look so cute in this dress. Okay, sorry. Moving on. She's going to go ahead and she's going to work hard. We're going to write our book. And now that we're the only one here, I think the fastest way to make time pass would be to put Sugar to bed after he's done writing the book and maybe after eating. I feel like I've talked a lot. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Jem calls back saying, thanks, but no thanks, mom. I don't even like your n my new stinky brother. Also, yeah, we already stole homes and children may as well be an official spy or thief. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's my point. <laughs> this stream went to break someone's heart to let's save the children from going advanced love to their parents and other family members. That's how you know that we're good people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and self-publish. That the Alabama curse is going to be on, on the books. You know, people are going to read it. They're not going to really know what to do. <laughs> we're the mafia, but we're a good mafia. We have morals. We have values. <laughs> we're going to protect the people. Okay. So <laughs> Like how they tried to say the dude from 365 was, but good nonetheless. Oh, you, you're that movie. Yeah. That was a weird movie. <laughs> I can say with 100% confidence that like it was just weird. It wasn't good. It was weird. <laughs> it was a whole weird experience. And then it was, I don't know how to feel about the ending. I don't know what to do. I don't know how, I didn't know how to feel about it during any part, should clarify, but particularly about the end. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sleep. The basically the meme, we were bad, but now we are good. <laughs> that movie was a spiritual experience for us all. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen 365 Days, the movie, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> One that we can't fully comprehend to this day. No, we can't. Um, and then like weird movies got started to be like recommended to me on Netflix and then I clicked one and then it was just like, I didn't want it. I was bad. Don't, no, no, sorry, <laughs> no. <laughs> It's really graphic. It's weird. It's basically porn. It's basically porn. <laughs> but, you know, like... Was it worse than Fifty Shades of Grey? What would you say, Sugar? Was it worse than Fifty Shades of Grey? I don't know if it was. I don't. <laughs> I mean, aside from the fact that there's a lot of violence involved, but I mean... I don't know. <laughs> it's basically entirely adult content with almost imperceptible plot. I seen much worse on the internet. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I think Fifty Shades at least made more sense. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Too much indeed. There are some things that the internet brings to you that you do not want to be brought. But we can also argue that those movies were all a part of the internet because I watched them on my computer. So. <laughs> Jim has entered the picky eater phase. Why are we crying, child? Just don't eat what you don't want to eat. Okay? The, ent the entire internet is just a fever dream. <laughs> my innocence has killed a long time ago. Your innocence killed people. That's new. I... <laughs> Please inform me on... 
sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm sorry. That was that was a bad one. It was a terrible joke. Okay, so the child is sleeping, but not really sleeping super well. We're going to wake her up, and we're going to make her attempt mental telepathy. And uh, once she's focused, now she's focused, uh, she's combating a cold. Poor little baby girl. Baby girl. We're gonna, you're going to do homework, though. I don't care if you're sick. Maybe I should make the child, like, uh, have a, an excuse note for the fact that she is not feeling well. Um, I do think she should probably stay home today. Okay, so we finished her whiz kid thing. Now she just has to craft three emotional potions. <laughs> Sue, if you ever got new accessories for your VTuber, you have to get the 365 short beach blonde wig. <laughs> I mean, you know, if enough people request it, I'll have it done. That's what I'll say. <laughs> okay, but... <laughs> It's gonna have to be like hundreds of people. <laughs> Cause it's a lot of money. So. Okay. <gasps> I'm not as cute in this outfit and I'm very disappointed about it. Achieve level 10 charisma skill. Have 20 friends. Okay, this is the easiest way to make friends. To just have a friendly introduction. All right, let me just pay 150 on ads just to get that <laughs> Pristine reputation. Sue is a shining beacon of positivity for the community. Passing by other sims will elicit friendly waves and cheerful smiles as everyone's day is brightened by her presence. Friends will be more forgiving if she commits any social miscues and they won't be quick to judge her. Finally, Sue has earned the credibility to host her very own charity benefit parties. Gather other do-gooders toward for together for fun times while contributing towards excellent causes. Children don't receive the full range of benefits based on their reputation until they become teenagers. How did I become so good? That's my question because I really don't know. I don't think I'm doing that much in the game, <laughs> but uh, whatever. A small price to pay, Grape Rock Collector. <laughs> It is what it is. It is what it is. I wonder if we could just like make it so that like the bills don't cost as much. Is there like a, a potion or something? For <laughs> okay, but it looks like free services or free marketable. Mm, creative visionary entrepreneurial are more likely to get promoted in their careers we really need to get promoted and we really need to be promoted fast but we also need reduced bills and so which one do we want to choose the ability to make more money or do we want to be the ability to spend less money um mm, we're gonna be entrepreneurial no, no, we're not. We're going to be frugal. <laughs> I thought about it. No, we're going to be entrepreneurial. <laughs> Both is good. We're going to go ahead and make me entrepreneurial. And then I think we have enough on Sugar Peacock to actually make mm, the bills reduced. So hopefully that should do it. We're going to work it from both angles. <laughs> Okay, the ability to control a country. <laughs> okay, so hopefully that will work. Entrepreneur to su supply weapons for wars. I'm frugal anyway. This is the canon choice. <laughs> hey, so at least that works out for us. I well done. Looks like this household is a compliance of all the active neighborhood and the neighborhood action. You'll see a reduction in your next amount of bills as a result of your commitment, and they're gonna go. Okay, cool. Yes, Salem. How can I help you? Yeah. Really. That's my cat. <laughs> Hi, Salem. Okay. So, sugar, um, what are you gonna do? Meow! <laughs> yeah. Yes, buddy, I hear you. 
One sec. Let me just open this door for this cat <laughs> real quick. Okay. So, let me BRB. Okay. Do 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 do. All right, I'm back. <laughs> the cat has been fed. I'm sorry. Left. Out. She went outside. He went outside. <laughs> He went outside. He wanted to go outside. So that's what happened there. Okay. So let's go ahead. And he's really happy about the fancy soap. Cool. Um, I'm really not pleased about this particular outfit, but it's fine, I think. So let's browse the intelligence or no, we don't actually have to because we're just trying to move ahead in the game. And to that, we don't actually have to complete the daily task. It doesn't really get us any further. And we're not really interested in doing any extra work. That won't get us any further. <laughs> and let's see. So the child has to do what now? She needs to craft three emotional potions. And in order to do that, she needs to have the child... Um, What does she have to have? I don't remember what it's called. She has to have something though. What is it? Uh, your character looks like a 40 year old cop player. <laughs> it's true. Oh, but I wish she didn't. <laughs> but she does. But I wish she didn't. Okay. So it's one of these two, and since we don't have room for it in her room, we're just gonna have it like be out here. And I'm sure that she can do this just fine. Since she's confident, we're just gonna have her create a potion, and it's gonna be an emotion potion. That sounds fun. Yeah, would you like to drink from my emotion potion? <laughs> Something that I really like is the way that like vintage people talked in like their 1950 movies. I always used to think that was like really like, I don't know, the way they talked is, you know, they had to enunciate. I remember that when I went to school, um, particularly for voice classes, they told me that they actually, the people in the, the actors back then, they used to go and they had to go to a class so that they knew how to properly enunciate each word because they needed that um, for the for the particular audio <laughs> back then. I don't know why I had to go on that like for so long, but I did. I like how the tags are good and bad character. I chose both sides so that I always come out on top. <laughs> I mean, it's fair, isn't it? <laughs> Sue enjoys more than just using her electronics. They make life easier, more fun, worth living. <laughs> Sounds... <laughs> we never lose. Never. Not even once in our life. Okay. So go ahead and vacuum. I don't like this outfit. Not at all. <laughs> not at all <laughs> it doesn't look good she just mm, I feel bad though because I don't know if anybody here has like that particular sense in fashion like what if somebody is just hearing me like squash this particular outfit and they're just like I've oh I have clothes that look like that. <laughs> I'm sorry potential <laughs> viewer <laughs> Okay, so the child has achieved these dreams. So now we must select a new aspiration. As you can see, we finished our creativity, we finished our mental, now we have to get the motor or the social up. And so which one do we want? Maybe they should have to reevaluate their fashion set. <laughs> you know, I think so. But <laughs> international spy in the inside but an old grandma on the outside 
you know, they'll never suspect me under that. So maybe it's it's a good idea. Maybe like by the end of the international spy, I'll actually like have completely evolved into grandma status. Okay, so I think we're gonna go ahead and go for social butterfly. Once we've completed all of our aspirations, I will actually allow Jem to grow up into a teenager. That way that she can have all the benefits and then we can have somebody else to help us to commit crimes. That's actually what the goal here is. <laughs> to have someone help us commit crimes. That's the entire reason we adopted her. That's why she's here. <laughs> We're also gonna have to save those children. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make it social, I think. Make a friend. You don't have any friends, kid? She doesn't have friends. That's sad. That's tragic. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day in 2021, I would dress up as a grandma so that I would infiltrate uncovered property. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically, right? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and make the child, I think, relive her memories. I've never had that ability before, but I want to see what that is. So now I have to be on the lookout for these grand. <laughs> Now I'm a real grandma who can even walk three steps. <laughs> oh, you're right. I totally forgot. Oh, I hate her outfit. It's just every time I see her, I want to throw up. Reminds me of like a green pea. It's just a green pea. Let's go ahead and work out. That was a really strong reaction. Just seeing it and wanting to throw up. But it looks nasty. Damn. All right. Okay. So we're going to have her work out so that she can actually, like, I don't know, be physically fit in case her job is physically demanding at some point. I don't know if it ever will be, but we're, we're looking ahead in the future. We're making things happen. At least her workout outfit is cute. She looks adorable like this. <laughs> and she's focused. She's super. Let's what? What's a rush? The boost of the adrenaline makes Sue feel amazing. Should she firmly embrace with her astonishingly sculpted arms that she likes fitness? Yeah. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Is that a Christmas sweater? No, I think it's a bunny sweater. Let's see. Yeah, it's a rapper bunny on a hoodie. <laughs> Strongest grandma, age 99, still can take down a corporate company. <laughs> Honestly, that's the best way to go about things. Just, uh, you know, have me- oh, I fell off the treadmill. Oh! Have you ever fallen off the treadmill in real life? That always hurts. But, thankfully, this isn't real life. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna push it to the limits. And we're gonna go ahead and just embrace the fact that she is. Go, 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 girl, go. Push it to the limits. Uh, be as physically fit as possible, but don't kill yourself. Please, for the love of God. I still have a book I'm supposed to read that's about a secret agent grandma or something. <laughs> that sounds really interesting. What's the book? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put Sue to bed now that uh, she has accomplished her goal and now she is a little bit more physically fit and more capable of being an international grandma spy. And she's going to go to bed. Everybody's asleep, so everybody should be able to progress really quickly. Jem has to wake up for school in the morning and she needs to pee. Go to the restroom, babe. Go to, go to the restroom. We need to make her so that, like... She's more friendly. The more I think about Grandma Spy, the more that I remember that weird movie. Go ahead and mm, slack off. Lower school performance. Increases fun. Offers a chance of granting a happy moodlet. Um, make friends. Make friends, kiddo. You need to make friends. Um, yeah. It's from the Miss Polific Spy series by Dorothy Gilman. I've never read that. But what weird movie? Uh, so you're over here showing off your, I guess, amazing spaghetti making skills? I assume this is spaghetti. Water shutoff day is now in effect. Accordance with the water conservation, all water will be turned off for the next 12 hours. We have a merman. That's not acceptable. 
What do you mean? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. They don't care about mer people. <laughs> they don't care about them. <laughs> you need your water. <laughs> Refined palate. As a celebrity, Sugar has made an accustom to excellent quality meals. Eating food that doesn't meet his lofty quali quality expectations will make him increasingly uncomfortable. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna. Sh um, you're gonna be in a. Uploads the video station, gaining the social prowess to deal with. Uh, noticeable. Let's just make you noticeable. You need your water and they don't care about you. So I don't know what to do about that, but we're going to go ahead and clean up. And, um, I know what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to save those kids. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and travel. Yeah. Let's go over here and we're going to travel with, uh, we're going to travel with Bob. I need a certain amount of atom and protein to sustain my fragile human flesh. <laughs> this whole time I feel like I've kind of taken on a William Shatner impression, but maybe I haven't. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is the game paused? Is it frozen? What's happening here? I'd really like it if it wasn't. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate this. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the museum. We're going to go to the museum for a change. That's where we're going to have our spicy little date. And we're going to go there. But they don't know it's a date yet. That's the, that's the kicker. You know. It would really suck if his wife was here. <laughs> <laughs> um don't know where to find simi capsules when sims are emotionally mindful okay so we're both here and we're having a good time we're gonna gossip we're gonna give him a crafted gift we're gonna give him a sky ca candle we're gonna get to know him we're gonna really make him comfortable and then we're gonna <laughs> chat, chat to him about property values. We're gonna brighten his day. We're gonna just be everything that we can be. We're gonna reveal a super deep secret. And the secret's gonna be, I'm only talking to you because I wanna steal your sons away from you. That was weird, like, what you were doing. So <laughs> let's ask about his favorite color. I think he already told us. Oh, oh, I thought that the guy proposed. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm glad that he didn't. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's be a little bit romantic this time around. Let's, what are you doing? Come back. Okay, you gotta talk to Bob, my dude. You gotta talk to him. You gotta really quick talk to this guy. You're here together. This is a cute person. I'm sorry, my type is a dude with beards, just as a heads up. <laughs> I like beards. So, um, do we want to become partners in crime? No, we don't. We're going to go ahead and we're going to compliment his appearance. And then we're just going to sort of play a little savvy about it. You know, like, you look really cute. Ta -da. And then, um, we're not going to be so bold. We're going to just, like, maybe flirt with him a little bit. And then... Uh, we're gonna start romancing him because we need to like oh he's into it he's into it so he's also cool with cheating on his wife i guess we should have known i guess we should have known in hindsight let's confess our attraction let's just like quickly build up this romance ah, romance so we can like divorce him really quickly just as well let's exchange numbers he already knows our number i don't know why we're doing this but it's fine it's good we're good Let's go ahead and... No, that's not my type. I thought it was for a second. It's not. <laughs> Let's, uh... uh... Is this an awkward encounter? What's happening? Oh! His wife was 
here. <gasps> Snap, crackle, and pop. We got caught. I need my water. I need a certain amount of atom and protein to sustain my fr fragile human flesh. As my power is dwindling, I must request a certain liquid known as the dehydrogen dioxide. Dehydrogen oxide, or the, for the common people, it's water. Without these precious substances, I may perish upon this rocky world. I feel awkward. This is weird. Oh, she's here. We didn't expect her to be here. We're gonna just be friendly about it, though. We're gonna be like, hey, I'm so sorry. She's pissed. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> Okay, so she's here. Um, I didn't mean to make her mad. I mean, I guess I did a little bit, but not not intentionally. But, like, I didn't think, you know, like, I didn't, I had no idea. You know, we're just, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Imagine the wife comes in and you sidetrack into be <laughs> to a long speech about water. <laughs> Let's view it. I think I have to make a... Uh, and admirance. I need to admire. And I should steal, I think. I'm going to try and steal from the museum. Because we're a thief. We live up to our expectations. Okay? Complete 10 excellent paintings. So we viewed it. Yes, we viewed it. It was nice. It was a nice little thing. We looked at it. Yes. And now it's time to view other things. It's time to view so many things how long does it take to view things <laughs> steal and put it in your own museum that sounds like a great idea <laughs> let's do that <laughs> let's go ahead and bring gem here that way we can sort of pay attention to her <gasps> oh it's raining it's raining we're gonna play in the rain okay so we don't actually have to die of dehydration that's so good that is so good. We don't have to die of dehydration. Thank God. So we viewed it. That's nice. We've looked at it. That's good. Now we're moving on. What is happening here? Did somebody talk to... Someone called, but I don't know who. Um, maybe we should try to be friends with somebody. Let's call up that kid i guess i'm gonna just yeah yeah there we go so we've completed that and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go i guess shower in the rain yeah and <laughs> when a stranger calls dun, dun, dun. okay so we're showering in the rain. Luckily, we still have our clothes on. Oh, nope, never mind. Never, <laughs> never mind. That happened. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Why am I always showering naked outside? Why is it always me? <laughs> Imagine you're soon doing its thing and hear your voice on the distance. <laughs> How horrifying would it be for that sim? But he needed it. He needed the hydration. And now he's hydrated. So, you know, nothing lost, nothing gained. This is a cute person. But they're not Bob. Where did Bob go? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go home. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take uh, our child home with us because it would be bad parenting to, to do, to just leave her. <laughs> it's like you think just because I live by a lagoon, I'm always bathing with my chunk. <laughs> I'm surprised no one calls on him for public nudity. <laughs> but it's, maybe it's because it was so wet outside that nobody wanted to go outside. So only like that one redheaded girl saw us. So it was just, <laughs> so it was just pointless to call the cops. 
Okay. And go do your homework, I suppose. I know, I know, you're smelly. It's hard. It's hard on everyone. Um, okay, so you just immediately zoomed up here. But we actually want to go ahead and we want to call our buddy. And we're going to invite him to hang out at the current lot. He's going to come over, I assume. Because it's not too dark. We've got to save him. We've got to save his children, more specifically. What a weirdo. <laughs> Hello, policeman. There's a random man taking a shower outside of a random property. Oh. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give him a first kiss. Do you think he'll respond well to that? Let's just try it. Let's just see. Sue brought home 468. I'm just not doing as hot. I'm just not doing as hot. And I look ugly. Look at that. What was I doing? Ugh. Disgusting. <laughs> okay. So go kiss him. He's just gonna smell him and then we're gonna kiss him. <laughs> when you say that's random enough? <laughs> to be respectable, officer. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna offer him a rose. We're gonna be super romantic. We're gonna be in love so fast. This is the Sims only can do. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that people meet in real life and like get married in the same day, but I, I've never met someone who did it. So <laughs> I'm just a comedian, Mr. Police Man. Let's go ahead and kiss him. Let's go ahead. We gotta like while while it's hot, we've gotta be this person. We gotta pick up lines. I'm just such a hot catch. <laughs> you are indeed. You are indeed. Now you're gonna ask him to be a boyfriend. I can make people supernaturally fall for me. I expect you to at this point, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so your boyfriends, um, I think so, we're gonna recite love poetry to him. We're gonna be enticing. Yeah, this is all working out real well. So, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, express fondness. Let's, we can't propose because he's already married. Um, hmm. Can we convince him to leave his spouse is the real question. You have the power to turn people gay with your tongue. <laughs> Indeed, sugar does. Let's invite him to stay the night. And then we're going to woo-woo-hoo with him in the shower. Um, I think. Maybe not. I guess not. <laughs> let's romance. Let's convince him to leave his spouse. Yes. Sorry, I got excited. You place all your skill points on charisma. <laughs> That's what I do. I convinced him to leave his spouse. Wow, he's really easy. <laughs> Water shutoff day has now ended. Great, perfect. Now we're gonna propose. <laughs> You know all this is hardcore if you imagine I'm a mermaid cursed with painful legs until I make someone truly fall in love with me. But I never let myself get there because of the chain of manipulative marriages. I deal with the pain for the fun of the crime. <laughs> close sentiment. We're actually really close to Bob, which makes it really kind of quite a shame that he's weird with his kids. Hold on, this is so sudden. We just shared our first kiss, and now you want to get married? What's the rush? Let's enjoy the moment. We can think about marriage again later. Damn! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> He's not about it. He didn't say yes, he said no. Fuck! I thought we were going to be able to do this real quick, but it turns out no, he's not about it. <laughs> crap a -doodles. 
show off your muscles. Just show off your muscles. You know, don't be weird. Just <laughs> It's a rush because I'm not in love with you. I'm in love with taking advantage of you. <laughs> oh, this is not good. You're feeling sad. Oh, that's right. He just left his wife. He's not going to be happy for two days or so. Crap. <laughs> also, I want to take your crap. <laughs> we're just going to leave him be then. We're just going to ignore him. We're not going to interact with him any further. We're going to go ahead and I think instead just like, I don't know, be a pianist. Or give ourselves a pep talk. It's okay, me. You are beautiful. On the inside and on the outside. <laughs> okay. So we're going to actually have to wait for two days or so before, like, he eventually says yes. But in the meantime, let's listen to these lovely tunes that he, you're going to play for us. And your cash is also beautiful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My real life piano skill, everybody. <laughs> listen to it it's gorgeous isn't it just ignore the fact that like it's springtime and Christmas tree is still up I just never put it away <laughs> there it is so gorgeous you know, your daughter can play the violin better than you can play the piano. <laughs> oh, your area is really Christmassy already? Well, that's good. I actually like Christmas quite a lot, so I don't mind that it, like, starts being all Christmassy a little early on. I don't mind at all. I should probably fix this, but the only time I've ever dined from, like, repairing stuff is, uh... With the, with the fridge, so I'm actually a little bit afraid. So we're just gonna replace it because I, no, we're not. It costs $962. Never mind. We're gonna repair it and we're just gonna, or we're gonna hire a repair service. You know, that's equally good. That's why I not, cannot play anymore. She stole my violin skins from me. Okay, so the kid's gonna come. I lost my sedimentary skill. Uh, my daughter is a skill sapper. <laughs> Okay, I think we're going to have to end the stream here, but thank you guys so much for joining in, and next time, hopefully, we're going to be able to, um, <laughs> you know, save the children. <laughs> That'll be our campaign. We're going to save the children next time, but thanks so much for joining in, and I think we're going to go ahead and save here, because I'm feeling all sorts of, like, my voice is a little bit gone. <laughs> But thanks so much for joining, and it was real fun talking to you guys, and you guys made it, like, really, like, the time just went by. I can't even believe it's two hours already. <laughs> thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, you made me laugh way too much tonight. <laughs> Mm-hmm.